How did they finally persuade Walter Brennan to star in the show? It was a story. I think Irving Pincus uh, camped in, outside of his house in a car for a week or something like that, some story like that. He was a marvelous actor, by the way. He'd come in in the morning and, 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 and take his teeth out and take a pencil and make little spirals on each tooth so he would look older. But w when he was 25, he was playing old men. I don't know if you, do you remember W.C. Fields' uh, short subject of a uh, burglar singing in the cellar? Do you remember that, burglar singing in the cellar? Well, the, the burglar in the cellar was Walter Brennan, and he looked 70 and he was 25. Well, Walter Brennan was a strange man. <laughs> he, he never knew who I was. We were there for five years. He always called me Phil. I don't know. He was always full of these racist remarks, you know. And uh, one time, uh, one time he tried to kill me. We were in a fort out on the 40 acres, you know, the, the part that was uh, Atlanta that was burned down, uh, in Culver City. And uh, the wind was blowing, and we were eating lunch in an old fort, and he was talking about World War I, where he was a doughboy, and I said, uh, you know, Walter, I've never met a doughboy before. And he grabbed my tie, he said, don't, listen, Phil, don't you ever make fun of doughboys, and began choking me. <laughs> so then later on, the next year, he was a bigot. Uh, I want you to know that that's what he was, and many people from his era were. So we did a show uh, where a Japanese girl, uh, a maid, they had massaged his back by walking on his back, and it was all right, except I was late to a meeting, and uh, Irving Pincus and Jim decided to play a joke on me, and they knew how I felt about Walter, so uh, I came in late, and to punish me, they... They said, well, we need a whole new script from the, from the start because... I said, why? He said, Walter will not appear in the scene with a Japanese person. I said, I'm going to kill him. And I started down toward the... I started running down. I was completely lost control of myself, and they were chasing me. It's a joke. It's a joke. You know, and they finally caught me and dragged me back to the office, but I still was furious for three days over something they made up. 